Okay, so while you guys weren't looking, I got a chicken. I've named my chicken Bartholomew. And Bartholomew and I have gone on many of adventure in, in, while, the, uh, while the old camera's off. For example, um, I went and uh, got him. And uh, now we're here. And uh, you know what? It's a rich, it's a rich and exciting history of me repeatedly making the same mistakes. Um, can I just... Can I make the rock come to life? That would... I mean, it would have been great if it worked. Because I don't, I don't want to go around. Alright, well, let's go. I just did a double flip. Oh, I'm kick ass. Give me the sauce. Yeah, I love that I can just do this. Oh, what the fuck? No? Ow! Motherfucker! I, here's the thing about Bartholomew. I can't trust him. Like, I, I need- I need him. I need him to- to- to do my thing. But he knows a lot, and he knows a lot that he shouldn't. And it's kind of intimidating. Like, not gonna lie. You ever see- you ever seen a chicken consume meat? Cause I- I've seen Bartholomew, like, chow down on a- on a- on a steak. I mean, it was impressive, sure, but also... God, it was- it was terrifying. Cause like, chicken beaks, like, they're not made to consume flesh. They're not made to tear flesh. But he found a way. Yeah, 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 I got inside, I got inside the next dungeon. But I, I, there's something on my mind that I, I just like to, to, to mention. So recently, I, I, I mean, I, like, by recently, I mean like... So I just got back from this, like, uh, cabin trip with all my friends. Where we got, um, belligerently drunk. Just every night we were there, which is fine, we're good. And I just... And one night I was like sitting on the couch like with a with a with with a rainforest cafe like glass. I, I like I, I struggle to say glass. We call it the chalice because it's that important to us. It's it's basically it's a bucket. We call it a bucket, we call it a vase as well, because it's just it's deceivingly large. And I have like a glass full of um I have a screwdriver, so you know, orange juice and vodka for the un for the um the underage fans. Um and I, I'm definitely of age. I'm definitely twenty-one, yes. Now, we're gonna want to dump some orange juice into this cup, and while tradition states that you probably should put the alcohol in first, I say no. Now, here is the alcohol. The standard screwdriver is about one shot, however, we're going a little crazy tonight. So, we'll be doing two shots of vodka. Now that's a screwdriver. Mmm, scrumptious! <laughs> Please subscribe! My friend sitting on the couch next to me turns to me and says, Hey, I think I'm gonna drink some Chaser in a sec unless that's sacrilege. And I just go, You- You mean juice? Like, orange juice? And honestly, with that interaction, I don't know if I should be Impressed with our with with ourselves or disappointed because what what basically happened right there was we had an exact recreation of like this one of a joke in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, dude, I thought you said they didn't have alcohol. Look, they, they got screwdrivers. Oh no, Charlie, that's just orange juice. Just yes. the wow. orange juice, like yeah. the mixer. Yeah, yeah, people drink it. People drink it. Yeah, that's crazy to me. When was the last time you drank straight mixer? Oh, I had a diet cola mixer a while ago. Oh, uh, did you? And, um, I experienced that in real life, unironically, not as a joke, we just... I... I don't know, man, I don't- I don't know what- the, like, it's hilarious, it's really funny. I'm- I'm laughing, I- I- I'm gonna be honest, this level's already kind of giving me a stroke. Like, this is definitely something I'm not- Whoa. That's a weird interaction. Anyways, this is definitely something I'm not mentally equipped for. Okay. Fuck! You know what's really wild? I'm really just like... Like, I, I, I'm just sitting here and I have... No, no! You know what's really wild? I've just been sitting here since 2017 going, Hello Nintendo, yes, I will pay you money again for games I already own. You could do almost exactly nothing to them and I will just buy them again. And you know what? They refuse to do that, so, oh yeah, by the way, Kirby's here. 
Um, I, 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 I don't know. I saw that in the trailer. I didn't really know what to think of it at first, but at this point, I've come to just, I, I've reached, once again, I've reached acceptance. I'm not gonna question why. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna accept things and move on. Which, you know what? That might be a philosophy I need to take up in my day-to-day -day life. I think people, I think people should just let people be. Honestly. And I think we'll be much better off for it. Like, why do you care? Like, and I, I don't mean, I don't mean like, as in an apath- I didn't know you could do that. Interesting, okay. Oh, fuck you. Okay, around I go. So, navigating this place sucks. But anyway, I don't really understand- I don't mean- I don't mean what I said in, like, an apathetic sense. I mean in, like, the sense of... If someone- if someone chooses to live their life a certain way, and it's not damaging to other people, it's not causing any harm, why- why care? Gay rights! Oh god, it's a link-shaped hole. Yeah. Haha! -ha! Bitch! Was that it? Ow! Bitch. Why do the horse's eyes have to glow every time I enter the room? I know you're there. I've already used you to your fullest extent. You 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 mean nothing to me now. You you serve no other purpose. Just let me be. Quit quit trying to give me off the vibe of a cursed image every time I waltz into the room. The showmanship has ended. Understand that <laughs> understand that you have your curtain call in like a few hours, and then we can move past that. Um. What? Wait, wait. Then why am I up here for that? For only to get. What? Um. Can I jump? No. All right. Fuck it. I'm going. I'll, I'll. I'll. I'm just gonna go over here then. I guess. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Who are you? <laughs> like. Wait a minute! Who are you? <laughs> He's even got the flute! He's got the kazoo! Oh my god! It's the Yuan Kazoo Kid! Who killed him and made him a fucking Sans? Do better. I'm sorry, when did I- when did you come- become a little bastard? I thought you wanted to make friends. <sighs> do I have to kill all the flies while they're here? Oh fuck, I bet I do. Yeah, yeah, alright. Alright, you Pied Piper little fuck. Come here, bitch. I have a fly swatter, I'm not afraid to swat shit. Just like the US government with people who should be allowed here. Um, you are a streamer. I am the SWAT team. I'm here for your ass. Someone called 911 and they want you dead. I missed one, let me go. You f you dick. Come on. You pre-Sans Sans knockoff. Papyrus ass looking motherfucker. You have nothing on me. You just have your army of flies. You know what they are at the end of the day? A nuisance. Just like you. Congratulations on picking an army that only reflects yourself. You fucking tool. That's right. Fuck you. Okay, so when do I get to beat his ass? Ugh. What secret is in here? Like, seriously. Do I kill- I tried- tried killing all of them, I'll do it because it's satisfying, but it's not gonna satisfy my- It's not gonna satisfy the requirements to get that secret, I guess. For fuck's sake. Um... Do I- I- Can I shove these? Uh... Yes? What?! Why?! Why would they make me do that? <laughs> There's the nightmare game. Why? <laughs> Why are they like this? Why is this game like this? I love it so much, but what are you doing? Okay, so now I got two keys. I got a silver key, and I got a gold ruby key. Hon honestly, I thought that I thought that'd be harder. Maybe I should stop like overthinking absolutely everything. I, I every problem I run into. Um, does anyone else, like, um, if they, uh, if they have, like, you know, if, they, if, if you're, if you're, like, absent from school for a couple days and you have a few hom homework assignments that you miss and need to, need to turn in, does anybody else just, like, y you just mentally cannot do it until, um, you can't turn anything in until you have everything you need done? Does anyone else like that? Because to be honest, 
it's um it's wildly ineffective because all it means is that, is that you're piling up work for yourself and making it harder for you to finish everything and turn everything in but th but at the same time you're, you're like delaying other work you could be turning in on time because of it like uh, e even today I, I i like if there's like i need everything done at once and i need it all done at the same time and i need, need like a giant st stack of work to turn in at once or else i, I just can't I just, I can't turn in one thing. It's, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like this. All I know is, is that I'm nearly, it's that I think I just fucked up some, some kind of puzzle in this and there's nothing else for me to do. Can we go back to simpler times? Like when I threw coke at that fucking crackhead raccoon furry who just instantly took off his fursuit and turned into a man. All of this before, he, I, I took very incriminating photos of me and posted them on and like uploaded them to the cloud so we would have them in case I found his phone and deleted them and then he was gonna use them to like cancel me on twitter.com and ruin my job prospects then I would have been like hey man that's not cool and then a bunch of like I don't know 16 year old like four, 15 year olds on an, on an internet site would go ah! and then I'd, and then I go oh guess guess this is happening then I'd be sad but at the same time, my career wouldn't actually take a dip, it just dip on my mental state. Which honestly, if I'm gonna learn anything, like if, I, if, if the goal of that is like, people can't, you know, I can't learn a lesson, I just have to suffer and then lose everything. Which, you know what, sometimes that feels right, but at the same time, I don't know what I'm doing in life, I'm just a stupid person. Where was I? I don't know, I, and I can't know where I was because I'm bad with directions. I'm just gonna go back, I'm just gonna like, here's the thing, I'm gonna like walk around, pretend I did stuff, and then I'm gonna come back and be like, hey, this should work, and I'll be like, I'll, I'll, I'll choose that it does, um, but it won't, and I'll have to just keep walking around in circles until I figure it out, or go on Zelda Dungeon, at which point, f fine, fuck it, whatever, I, okay, knock, okay, official review of Link's Awakening, as the game progressed, as it, you know, as the game progresses, it show it's showing its age a bit more, I think. It's not because the dungeons are getting, like, th they require some actual, like, thought process and whatnot. It's not, it's not because I'm bad at the game or I'm stupid and I don't know how to work a puzzle. It's because, you know, the game is just old and it's showing its age. And, the, you know, it's on the game. It's not on me. It's not on me. Okay? Do you understand? God, that cabin trip, it got, it got a little a little crazy. At the end of it, to be honest, one of my friends, um, everyone, there were shrooms. One of my friends, he, he took, he pre-gamed shrooms with acid, and then spent the whole day eating shrooms, uh, got back to the cabin, started drinking just a, quite a bit of beer, and then at one point, he just started eating shrooms again. All of this was happening, he said at one point, the acid is fighting the shrooms and winning, um, as far as what was going on in his mind. Um, we were playing- we were all playing this little card game where we like, we have to read cards, and he- he- I, He was like, he was like holding a card and like trying to read it, and- and then like, he was struggling a lot. And then one of my friends said, T your cards are upside down, like, turn them around. And then he like, he turned his cards right side up, so he was- he was trying to read a card that was upside down, and did- did not notice. Um, he described each room in the cabin as being- having different things going on, like one of them, everything was a 45 degree angle, one of them was waving, um, another one, he did, I think he described the stairs as like, basically being escalators. There was a lot going on, but eventually it culminated in him smoking what, several, what he referred to as, and I'm air quoting, sobering up bowls. Um, at one point we were in, we were in a room together and he like turned to me and he had this like, he had an expression on his face I've never seen in a human being before. It felt like I was looking at a, at a very a worn, torn face of a man who just got out of World War One and, and is experiencing what is referred to as, then as shell shock, but now referred to as, you know, PTSD. And said, I think this is the most fucked up I've ever been. And, and for him? That's saying a lot. Um, always, always, I'll never forget the good times I had with my friends. It's a shame most of them died. Um, <laughs> I just realized something! I, 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 I've been walking around this fucking dungeon for like, for so fucking long, not knowing what the fuck to do with my time. And I, I, I didn't see the fucking cr massive cracks in the walls, which, 
probably is my solution. Let's take a fucking stroll and a hop diddy do to wherever the fuck the cracks are. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to be able to see things? Use my eyes and use critical thinking? I think the fuck not. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm... How do I get there? I know there's a way. I know there's a fucking way. Just give me... Give me the sauce. Okay. Yep! Motherfucker! I... You... You fucking people. <laughs> you people, you're so lucky, cause uh, cause you you just watched this edited. I I've been <laughs> I've been wandering around for so long not knowing what to do. I thought I was just like I was like, you know what? I thought I was missing something obvious, and guess what? I was. Oh my fucking god! I hate myself. I hate this. I need to get out of here. You know what this is like? This is like the time I played Sonic Adventure 2 for the first fucking time in my life. You know what happened then? I got to Pumpkin Hill. I got to Pumpkin Hill. I had. I didn't know what I was doing the first knuckle stage. I kind of just. I, I stumbled into passing it. I spent 30 minutes on Pumpkin Hill. The levels in that game are not meant to be played for that long. I thought I was going insane. I thought. I thought that, that I would just be trapped there for eternity. The Pumpkin Hill rap that's so reveled and so memed. I thought that would be like the f that I thought that would be like the f the rest of my life. I thought, fuck, fuck's sake! Why can the echidna fly? Why can the fucking echidna fly? Who designed that? Tails has tails. He canonically flies. Why did they design the game so that Knuckles, the echidna, glides? Why not the character with the two spinning tails that can fly? What the fuck? I don't. I don't understand it. I don't want to understand it. I don't understand anything Sonic does. I don't want to understand anything Sonic does. It's, 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 it, it, it's so perfectly asinine. It's so on brand. I don't even know where to begin with it. It. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't want to get it. I repeat this mantra until it becomes truth. Sometimes you don't have to understand everything. Not everything has to make sense. I don't know. I don't know anything about Sonic. I, why am I talking? Why am I talking? I did it, motherfucker! This is it, right? Th this has got to be it. Oh, fucking. Yes! Oh my god. Finally. Oh my god. It's happening. Guys. Fuck. I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna be free from this fucking dungeon. Why must I be so aggressively stupid? Why? Why? Why must I be like this? I just got a Discord notification from a couple of my friends. One of them says, I'm drunk. The other says, is me getting dr also getting drunk a good suggestion? And he said, yes. And then the other one said, alrighty, I need to find my mic and a shot glass. I I'm gonna need a fucking drink after this. I'm gonna... Say a number one through four. Three point. I'm, I'm saying three point seven. I need a response, motherfucker. You know what I'm gonna grab, and what are in the fridge? I'm gonna grab. No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do more damage to my liver. Okay, so I said three point seven. Another friend said four, and he said three point seven wins because I don't hit my liver enough for four consecutive shots. So three point seven. A okay. We're, we're we're on we're on track. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Yep, I'm stupid. Hello? Oh my god, his little walk was so confident and swag- He had such swagger- Wait, I need- I need to see that again. I'm going back. <laughs> oh yes, here he is, the boy. Oh, it's you. I already do, so you know what? You're- you're just gonna be completely ineffective. Hello? Oh shit. America, is that you? What? He's riding him? Holy shit! Meta Knight come through! Yeah! My frame data? My frame data. Data? Data? Whatever the hell you, you choose to believe. I don't control your life. My frame data. <laughs> Unparalleled. Wait a minute! Wait. Oh my god, I'm having realization, but I need to wait until it happens again. Anyways, I've been beating the fuck out of him with my Meta Knight frame data. But, like, wait, hold on. It's bullet hell, right? And that's... That's like Sands of a Virus. It's Undertale! Ladies and gentlemen, we have Undertale! Holy fuck! Listen, I fought Sands! I beat Sands! It took me, like... 
I think it took me 87 tries to beat Sans. Um. I mean, that's not, it's not a good number, but I, but it's, but knowing it is proof that I did it. I wrote it down somewhere. I have a tally. Huck. Fuck. Ah! The boomerang. My side B got him. I love, I love that my boomerang is just chilling up there. Just, just vibing, you know? It's just vibing. It's having a good old time. Like me, I'm, I feel great. I feel so alive. Oh, so <laughs> there he is again, just, just sitting there. Um, kind of menacingly, to be honest. Oh, God, they really, they really put the Iron Man Armored Adventures theme song on Spotify. And I'm going to use this piano, or, I mean, it's going to make synth noises, obviously, because that's what the game's been doing. Oh, it's an organ, whatever. Either way, I'm going to use it to play the Iron Man Armored Adventures theme song, and it's good, like, the, the hook for it, they play it on a synth. I watched the live music video, I watched it. It's going to be great! God, I really, I really, I really put that on my skiing playlist and just and just rode down a fucking mountain, jamming out to the Iron Man Armored Adventures theme song. Hell fucking yeah! Hey, you wanna watch a uh, five-hour video on Persona 5 on why it's not a good game? Style over substance. Look at that guy. Oh, 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 oh no! Wait. No, I thought it'd be cute. This is bad. That's not a turtle, that's a snake! Do, 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 fuck, do, 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 ling a ling you're fucking- You're dead! Oh, you're so dead. Oh, look at him, his eyes are going- We became a fairy. Very nice. In we go! Let's, let's just- Link really said, hey, let's just wander into... Let, let's kill this guy and then wander through his corpse. And we let him do this. If we take an impressionistic look at all this, we could say that, hey, these lava flows look like, you know, they, they might be arteries or, or, or something to that effect. Um, there are snakes here for some reason. Uh, probably, probably parasites, some kind of parasitic worm that, uh, that I, I'm just clearing out for the guy. You know, when you die, you want, you want whatever you, you leave behind to at least be in some kind of good condition. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm, 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 I'm helping clear out the man I've just killed. I'm helping clear out his, his, uh, his, his, every, every body, bodily part and function. I'm making sure it's all good and running good. There are so many, um, hello? <laughs> there was no, there was no introduction. He just kind of, <laughs> the camera just zoomed in on his blank expression. What the fuck? Come here, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah, just fuck him up, I guess. Oh my god, was that the manta ray kind of thing from Code Lyoko? Why'd I kill him then? He's so cool. Didn't they ride- didn't they ride the manta rays, like, into- like, like, the manta rays- wait, were they- Did Xana control the manta rays to start off, or was it like- And they- they- they like one- they made them, like, uncorrupted? They- they- they did- they made them not corrupted anymore, and then they could ride them into the- that weird fucking, like, digital sea or whatever? I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. It's been a few days. It's been it's been a few days since I since I killed that fucking turtle. Um, I wandered into the cave and, and I said not not yet not today. Um, it's been it's been a, it's been a hot second. I started school. I got back from Big Bear. I had a lot of leftover white claws in my fridge, and I said to my friends hello. I said hey, and hello. We come over and help me destroy these. Um, and so we did that. We, d we we did that, and it was beautiful. We human ingenuity really really came into uh, went to, into focus with the uh, the pyramid we built. It rivals, I I believe the um well, the Great Pyramid of Giza. However, this was not without a cost to ourselves, to our livers, etc. Um, we 
we, we, we did what we set out to do. We drank all the White Claws, but it wasn't enough. Um, we stumbled over to the, uh, the local... We took a hop and a skip down to the local liquor store, and we, we procured a bottle of, of, of wine. We procured a bottle of wine. We drank that very quickly. And then we were sitting down, we were watching an old video we had made together, where, um, in which we, um, we tried to prove that Betty Crocker is, a uh, is a servant to Satan, and sold her soul for success, and do that through, through making one of their devil, devil's food cakes. The most evil of them all. But what if Betty Crocker is not wet old lady? I think Betty Crocker Corporation is hiding something. Take a look at this. Betty Crocker has 11 numbers in it. You know what else has 11 in it? Jet fuel can't melt steel B cake mix has 7 letters in it. You know what else has 7 letters in it? Lucifer. Satan. 11 minus 7 is 3. 3 is in the Holy Trinity. Something Satan is not a part of, and neither is cake mix. Betty Crocker. BC is in before Christ. Betty Crocker is Satan's servant Illuminati confirmed. So we were watching it, and then one of them turns to me and says, Let's make a sequel. And I said, That is a fantastic idea. We need to be drunk as hell for it. And what that means is, is that we need more alcohol. So we stumble over to <laughs> the second liquor store of the evening. This one was a bit farther. And um, at this point, it's all, it's all really, really catching up to us. Um, one of my friends gets in an Uber and leaves without much of a word. Um, another, another has a has work. And the next morning, which is this morning, she has work. She, she's working. It's her first day on the job. And what really, what really strikes us down, I think, was was that second trip to the liquor store. We could we could have succeeded in all of our endeavors if we had not done that. However, um, while we were drinking that 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 second bottle of wine, um, th things went sideways. I did make eggs. That was pretty good. And, um, like how we ate the eggs, I'm trying to get this fucker to eat this goddamn bomb. Like, hello, what do I get for my triples? Is it gonna be a key? Is it gonna be the boss key? Update, it's just a regular ass fucking key. Cool. Hubris is the word I'm looking for. We experienced hubris with, um, with, with how much we were drinking. And we, ju we just wanted more. So all in all, this is all just to say that I'm still drunk. It, it, it's nearly noon. It's nearly noon the next day. I am still drunk, and although we set out to to destroy the White Claws, um, there is another case now in my fridge. And um, so this was all for naught. Cool beans. God, I got. I walked into my um. I walked into my class on Thursday, which is yesterday, and I just. <laughs> I <laughs> I was getting to my class. I was getting to my class on Thursday, which was yesterday. And I just, like, I realized right then and there that I already did not care about being on time. Like, whatever you think about senioritis, um, in, uh, in fucking high school, it's still, it, it persists throughout college, but it all, but it only, like, it gets to a new level, senior year of college. Especially the last semester, oh my god. Hello? Oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh man, they just really gave me just straight up a torch, with range. Yo, uh, when is some Breath of the Wild 2 info gonna come out? I want the sauce. Give me the sauce. I wanted, I wanted the nightmare key. That's just a key. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I know this guy. Last time I was here, my brothers were screaming. Damn, he's really just like full front in that lava, isn't he? Oh. They give me a dungeon item and don't... And don't let me use it to hurt this this horrible arachnid. Fine, fuck you too. No fun allowed, I guess. Actually, actually, yeah, it does make sense considering the fact that he's he's just half of his body's just swimming in lava, but only half. He can just he can stand the the damage lava does, but only half of his body at a, at a certain time. I am going to squish you, like like that game from Chuck E. Cheese. You know the one where you step on spiders. And they go, ouch! That's me, I'm going ouch right now, because I have two fucking hearts and no will to live. Sure, you can have more fun by playing offensively and going for it, but like, it's way safe. It, it, it gives the, like, the players way too safe playing it, like, playing it safe and just waiting for them to come to him. Or, waiting, waiting for the player too safe. Um. Anyways. I like these. These are fun. Uh-oh. I made a stupid. 
Sorry, I have to do it again because I made I made I made stupid. I, I did a I did wrong. Shit. Anyways, I have to do this again because I, I I I did it wrong the first time. I didn't do it the second time. This is my first. This is my second attempt. Only my second attempt. Shit. Anyways, um. I I I I fucked up the first time. This is uh. I had to I have to come I had to come back and uh do it again. This is my sec this is my second time. Only my second attempt. And like if I play my cards right, it'll also be my last. See that? See that? My my second and only only second attempt. That's how this works. This better be a boss key. Hell fucking yeah, it's the nightmare key. This is a nightmare. I'm having one now. Ooh. Wow. In we go. Hello, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be... Crackle Foosh, you're finished. I, I'm i sure I'm not. I've... Crackle Foosh, you're finished. Two weeks, two weeks. In two weeks, we'll have lost the contract to Quesk and Oscorp will be dead. That is a direct quote from Spider-Man 2002. Um, is, is the... What? I was about to ask if the dungeon item was useless against this guy, but like, what? Why does that do anything? He's dipping in lava, that's like the most- that's like the most extreme form of fire. I mean, it's not, it's scientifically, but you know, we're working with game logic here. Why does this harm him? Bitch, stop harming me! Stop that. I'm bad and stupid. Maybe, maybe a tad bit, uh... Fuck it, what's the... Fuck it. Not inebriated, no, um... Impaired! I might be a tad bit impaired! Stop moving! <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Are the spikes really necessary, dude? You were hurting me before anyways. Okay, cool. I'm hurting you any- I'm hurting you now anyways. The spikes didn't do much- Oh, some of them are tusks? Damn, did you just grow them? Also, the game is getting very blatant with the, uh, you were in a dream stuff. Do- do they even care at this point at, ma at maintaining any sort of surprise? P probably not. And why should I? Sorry, I'm just staring at the heart and thinking about the fucking Tide Pods. They look like- the hearts in here look like a forbidden snack. Like, that looked like a forbidden snack. Also, Humdi Dum, I got some drums. Link is now a little drummer boy. Fantastic. Are those like little lightning accents on it? Yeah, those look like little li lightning accents. Ooh. Hit him. Hit him with that link. Uh. Egg! 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 <laughs> yes! The egg on the mountain calls. Fuck yes, it does.